Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah and I hope you're all having a great day. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys. Um, this is an item that I was back and forth with and threw it in my wish list and it came available on February 9th. So I ordered it on the 9th and it actually arrived yesterday, which is Tuesday the 23rd, I think it was. <clears throat> Today's Wednesday. All right, hope everybody's doing well, having a good day. We're in the middle of the week. Which side is... I'm kind of excited. I'm curious how this is going to look. Okay. This is my invoice. Also guys, um, I did use my points on this one. So all I ended up paying was the $7.99 for shipping. The first thing that I got, I'll go ahead and show you here. This is part of Amber and I's Love for Mica collab. Um, these are the pins that we're using in the collab. So we've been buying some for the winners. So this is Autumn, Adam, Autumn, Amber Rain. I can never get the name. So it's just basically got like copper and gold uh, flakes in it. And it's clear. So this will be going to one of our winners. Um, there is a single placer on one end. You could put a multi placer on the other. And it does have, it's like a three, like the three bump. Um, and they are medium size. Let me see. And then they give you a thin four placer and a thin seven placer. So these come in the pins as well. My understanding are that you cannot replace these tips. I guess the plastic is glued in. You can always replace the brass if you wanted to. Um, but from what I understand, you cannot take this plastic piece out, but these would go on the end. So this is for one of our winners. Okay. And this is the canvas that I got. It's not very big. <clears throat> it's got the blue. So we know it's going to be a square. And this is the one that I purchased. I went with Erase, and this is by Suniva Meister, if I'm saying it right. It's a 20.9 by 30, which is 53 centimeters by 76 centimeters, and there's no ABs in this one. There's a close-up there of the picture. I am using my natural light. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I need to, I'll go ahead and turn on my other light. I did clean my blade. It was getting sticky from all the unboxing, so I used rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball. So now it's not sticking anymore, which is nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It is bagged. Okay, and I don't see a big inventory sheet, but that's okay. I don't, it might be in here with the drills. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So you are going to get the little mini sticker. These can be placed on the outside of your boxes for storage. You can use them on journals, 
tins, different uses. Uh, you could put them on your drills as well. And this is the tool kit, the standard tool kit. This one is a square. It's either going to say it round or square, and it will have the contents listed below. It is branded, and it's a thicker plastic bag. And in the tool kit, you get a blue pen. You get a pair of tweezers. These are one of their thicker styles. Very pokey, but the tips are thicker than they used to be, so they don't bend as easy. It does come with a cap. Mine fell off. You want to always keep that cap on. You get a blue squishy for your pin. It does have a four placer, the thin ones. Two heart shaped pink wax. Gypsies up on the table, guys. Probably about, I'm not going to count, but about seven or so. Then, you know, they're, they're not like good, good Ziploc bags, but they'll get the job done. Uh, so you get about seven or so baggies for spare drills. And then your clear boat with the spout. So this is the basic kit. The only difference between a square and a round are the tweezers. Let's see, let's get this in. Okay, put this off to the side. That's the opening. Gypsies right there, guys. I didn't feed them before my video, so I apologize. Okay. No big sticker or no inventory sheet. Okay, so you get your step-by-step -step instructions. It's got thank you here. It's gonna tell you some t tips and tricks there, how it works here, and then a thank you code on the back. And then it's got their information, their social media information on the back here. Okay, here's the drills. It's got the name. Oh, you know what? This is one of their older. Because look at the bags of drills. This must be an older kit, right? There's no silver or blue strip right here. Not too many colors, it's kind of a, there's not brights or anything, it's more of a dull, duller picture. But um, I have been getting my square ABs from Shimmering Canvases, so I will have plenty of ABs for this canvas, or if I'm missing something, I can go, go pick them up. So let's see. I can't believe it doesn't have a sticker sheet. I thought even the older ones did. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Here she is. Let's see. Okay. It, I think it is an older canvas. Let me. Let me do this. Let me show you the top says do what makes you sparkle diamond art club that's their brand um this one does have some glitter in the canvas it's not super glittery though but there's some shimmer in the canvas there's also some glitter and shimmer on the drill field super sticky okay so on this canvas you're gonna have the canvas ID number at the top, the name, which is the erase right here, and then the size 53 by 76. You've got your 
thumbnail image right here. And then you're gonna have your colorless chart. I don't have my chart, but that's okay. There is 30 colors. So you have the schematic on the upper left. And then you're gonna have it, where are you? Right here on the bottom right. And again, there's no ABs. And then you've got your canvas information across the bottom. It's gonna have the social media. It's got their Facebook and their Instagram. Let's see. It's got a discount code right there in the middle. And then the lifetime warranty information right here on the canvas as well. It is a soft canvas. And like I said, there is glitter. So the story be behind this one is from what I read on Diamond Art Club. It's basically forgetting about the past and moving forward. So the cobwebs represent the past and then the dragonfly is supposed to be a symbol that's guiding you into the future like giving you the courage and you know strength to to move forward um and then of course you got the big erase symbol like i said this is an image that i was back and forth with because it's kind of one of those that you could look at it different ways I'm just moving it up slow, guys, because I can't get you in view of it all. But it is like blocking out her eyes. I would probably definitely do some ABs um, or rhinestones in the dragonfly for sure and make, make that pop. I guess it, the whole thing is it is kind of a dull colored picture. Like you don't really want to put too many brights or what have you and there's the cobweb it does cover her eyes but you can see like her nose and her mouth definitely looks to me it looks like a little girl and pull it in view and then of course you've got what looks to be a man's hand just kind of you know doing the holy race through here um <clears throat> the artist does also have his um, signature in this canvas as well so I'll go ahead and bring you back down or no, i'm going to slide the canvas down bring you back up i should say I kind of like it. I think it will go good with my betrayal and my Enya Guerreros. <laughs> I should should have a wall for nothing but kind of controversial paintings. But yeah, I like it. I'm glad that I got her. And again, there's the dragonfly is pretty big. And I can't tell, that might be a spider. I see some legs. That might be a spider, I'm not sure. Okay. And then this hand though, it's a pretty, when you're looking at it in, in person, it's a pretty big hand. And of course it's like, Looks like it's torn off or something. I don't know, guys. Like, the more... And I... I Now I remember this thumb. Um, <laughs> Amber, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I remember that I had second thoughts about what this thumb looked like <laughs> at one point in time when I was back and forth with getting the canvas, and I totally forgot about it until right now when I'm looking at it in person. But it reminded me of a certain image, I'm not gonna say, but I mean. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that. Okay, all right guys. Well, this was a quick video. 
thank you for watching thank you to all my new subscribers um appreciate all of you guys and until my next video i'll see you guys next time bye